My name is E. Sisman and it has been 214 days since I had a haircut. So the, the mullet is coming and uh, the good news is that's by, by the way, that's seven months uh, if you're counting. Uh, the good news is the, the barbers are, have reopened now in the UK since Monday, it's Friday now, obviously five minute Friday. Um, I did try and go a couple of times to get my hair cut and it looked like a refugee camp outside the, the barbers. There was a line going right up the street with a lot of dodgy looking haircuts waiting to be, to be seen to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until next week. I, I'm also gonna tie it in with the fact that I'm uh, going back to work soon. But before we go any further, I just wanted to say that I've been getting a lot of comments about the fact that I've got no photographs in these frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera and we'll get a, so you don't have to look at it anymore. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm sorry I've been a bit quiet in the last week or so. Not, I've been a bit under the weather, I'm starting to feel better now. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick video. It's five minute Friday after all, and uh, talk about, about a little bit of news that's happened. So it's kind of a five minute Friday slash uh, super yacht news video. All right, so let's get on with it. So let's put uh, five minutes on the clock and I'm gonna blow through it today for sure. So the first thing and the thing that you probably clicked on it for was to see the story about sailing yacht A. So the news is uh, not good for the industry. Uh, the owner is not bankrupt by the way <laughs> of the yacht. Uh, the company that actually built sailing yacht A has just filed for insolvency. Uh, Nobus Krug, a very uh, famous um, super yacht builder and a shipping builder since 1905 in Germany they've been in existence. And they've built some, uh, some notable super yachts, but before super yachts were a thing, they did some stuff, went through two world wars, they built stuff for the German Navy. Uh, they also, quite notably, they built a uh, or they extended a, a ship called Berlin, which was used in the German version of the Love Boat. That's one of the triumphs. Uh, and then more recently, they've built some uh, notable super yachts, such as 777, uh, Tatouche, owned by, uh, by the late Paul Allen, uh, Super Yacht Magambo, and, uh, and obviously Sailing Yacht A is the most high profile yacht they've ever built. When I see a company that can build a yacht like Sailing Yacht A, you would think that there would be massive profits to be made in building a vessel like that, but apparently not. The problem with this shipyard, as far as I can tell, is that they haven't really produced that many super yachts. Since 2010, they've only produced less than one a year. When I say produced, I mean delivered. Less than one a year. And uh, between 2014 and 2016, and 2018 and 2019, they didn't deliver any super yachts. And in the middle of that, 2017, they delivered Sailing Yacht A. And I, I understand that there were some problems, uh, difficulties for the shipyard in, in getting that uh, vessel delivered. I don't know what those difficulties were. Obviously, this kind of stuff is kept quiet. The last yacht to be delivered is, to, is the Artifact, which was delivered in 2020. And that could be, I mean, theoretically, that could be the last yacht they ever deliver. I, I understand they do have some vessels still in the build phase. And uh, so I don't know whether the insolvency people will be able to find a backer to keep, to keep the company afloat. I don't know what's gonna happen. They also have uh, assets as in yards and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that one of the other German companies might, uh, might buy them out. Lursen, for instance, springs to mind. They, they, they bought out Blomann Voss a few years ago and basically uh, they basically dismantled that company and just uh, integrated it into Lursen. And Blomann Voss, very famous. And interestingly, uh, Moti Yacht A, owned by the same person who owned Sailing Yacht A, was built by Blomann Voss. They went out of business or they were, they were merged or they were bought out by Lursen and disappeared. And now Novus Krug are going out of business and they built Sailing Yacht A. I'm sure there's a conspiracy theory in there somewhere, but I'm just pointing out the coincidence uh, and the fact that, that that's happened. So that's, yeah, that's very sad. Hopefully uh, it's not the end of the road for them. 
Um, hopefully they'll, they'll find a backer and they'll continue to build uh, super yachts like Sailing Yacht A. All right, so one other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, I saw some great photographs from uh, Thomas van Usenen. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced your name, Thomas. Um, he put some photographs up recently on Instagram of, uh, of the yacht um, Project 817 Fedship from the Karg facility in, uh, in the Netherlands. And uh, the Karg facility is located in a place inland and when the vessels are ready, they have to take them down these rivers to get them out into the open sea. And probably when they started in that location, the yachts they were building were not that big. That wasn't a concern, but now the yachts are getting, this is a 94 meter yacht. And uh, now they're getting really close to the, uh, to the edge. They've got, a, they've got all these bridges that they move out of the way. And, some of the places they go through, it's amazing. And some of the, these are some of the photographs you're seeing now on screen, or all of the photographs you're seeing on screen are from Thomas van Usenen. And he followed the vessel out to the open sea. And it's, it's out on sea trials now, but it's quite incredible that they go through these little towns. I'd love to see this myself. And I just wanted to show that um, because, of the, because of the pictures, because of what they actually have to do once they leave that facility inland and take them down these different rivers it's quite incredible all right guys so that i'm gonna end it here uh let me know what you think of uh of, if you worked at nobbers krug or if you work there uh, let me know what you think about this if you've got any updates because I, I wasn't able to find any updates it's only just happened but if you know what's happening uh get in touch uh let me know and what do you think about this uh the super going through these little uh these little towns and villages it's quite incredible all right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you uh, next week. So have a great weekend. All right, bye-bye.